Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishram Malliala. So before going into the video, so please I request everyone of you to please share this video and share this channel to all your friends or juniors who are in class 12 or class 11 who are preparing for JE or any other entrance exams in order to pursue their BTEC or UG courses. So if you somehow uh, got helpful from my videos, so I request everyone of you to uh, help me in this particular case because now I need a new set of audience for whom my content is useful going to be useful so it's in your hands please share the videos and channel to all your juniors and family members who are in class 11 and 12 so with that positive note let's move on to the today's topic which is scholarships after 12th for UG or uh, BTEC students so as you all know I am Saichiran Malayana an academy prodigy this is also kind of college scholarship those who write this test now and uh, ace in this particular test ace in the sense those who get good score there is a chance of uh, getting 20 lakh rupees college grant they are going to pay all your expenses in the college so 23rd January 2022 10am onward for class 7th to 12th exciting scholarships and rewards and uh, it's a all India level test use my code CharanYT to enroll for free and exciting rewards in every test so these are all the rewards and these are all the scholarships according to the rank you are going to get this is how they are going to give you and also the same test is on 29th and 13th february here also you'll also get chance to get 20 lakh college grant so what are you guys waiting for use the link in the description and this particular mock test series for all india level je 2022 students is started by an academy every sunday they are going to conduct 2 to 5 this sunday it is there Jan january 16th and it's a all India level test series credited questions by top educators and uh, video solutions to each question detailed test report to identify strengths and weakness and way to improve and all 200 learners will get up to 100% scholarships and enroll now for this particular test series using the link in the description and my code Charan YT it's totally a free test series and uh, so now the main important thing is one student should get benefited by only one scholarship thing is uh, colleges have some rules so one student should get only one benefit of scholarship if he is going to avail one or more in that case it's kind of uh, uh, what we can say indisciplinary act by the student so please keep this in the mind before you apply and all so mostly what you can do is what i what you would try to do is so check whether uh, that scholarship requires college permission or not i mean some college some scholarships require college approval and all in that case college will see whether you are uh, having any previous scholarships and all if you have another thing they are not going to accept this so please keep that in the mind and apply so i try i suggest you please at least try for one scholarship if you get one happy and if at all you need some more money and if you are paying some extra amount to the college if you want to avail that also try for another one that's it not more than two don't go beyond that so that's what my suggestion is so first and foremost uh, i would suggest you is institute merit scholarship so usually this is uh, issued based on your cgpa those who get good cgpa they are going to get this particular institute merit scholarship they shouldn't have any active backlogs you will be uh, getting the uh, full reimbursement of the tuition fee how much tuition fee you are going to pay that much amount you will be getting back almost majority colleges issue this particular uh, institute merit scholarship just check it check it with your college if they are uh, giving that try to maintain the cgpa and apply for them and uh, next comes to state government scholarships state government issue a lot of uh, scholarships for students studying inside and outside st state for ug programs so check out the go uh, check out them on the google uh, like when which in which you state like i mean you can say for example you are a jharkhand student jharkhand state scholarships for b tech students if you search like that uh, like you know in the official website you will get everything related to that so for example in telangana tse pass is one of one of its kind and in andhra pradesh jagananna vidya divana and many more so you can just check in the official websites of your state government next comes to national service portal so well known as nsp so issued by central government so based on 12th marks category and income should get approval from college ask your college uh, office for full details okay so almost 10k to 20k you will be getting and uh, if you submit the laptop uh, bill which is on your name student name so if you got approval from your college and district level approval then you will get the uh, laptop amount also back so and then uh, includes post so this particular nsp has a lot of uh, other kinds too like post matrix css i mean uh, central sector scheme scholarship for college or university students for minorities it will be there for disabilities it will be there it's up to you based on your category apply accordingly and uh, the, if you see this eligibility criteria for post matrix scholarship so kind of disability parental income 2.5 lakhs you can just uh, pause the video and check out the uh, eligibility criteria just check this so based on this eligibility criteria only you are going to apply for so you are able to apply for this particular nsp scholarship 
and uh, now comes to pragati scholarship by aacte so this is also one kind of part of nsp2 mm, so this is for mainly for girls uh, 2000 for members for degree college girls and 2000 for diploma De- degree includes all the ug courses and now comes to like family income should be less than 8 lakhs selection is based on merit on qualifying examination for example if you are joining bd what is the qualifying examination your class 12 so based on your class 12 marks you are going to be selected so amount of scholarship will be tuition fee of 30000 or at actual whichever is less than so if your tuition fee is 28000 you are going to get 28000 if your tuition fee is 45000 you are going to get 30000 so that's how it is so per month uh, for uh, 10 months as in uh, like in 2000 per month will also be given for 10 months so which is almost like 20000 again so almost 50000 you are going to get so you are also going to get uh, 30000 for the purchase of books equipment software if you like kind of reimbursement for them so that is how it is now comes to one more important thing this is kind of private scholarship ffe foundation for excellence be btech or integrated five year dual degree mtech mbbs b farm and llb only first years can apply so to passed in 12th or equivalent should take admission into a college based on entrance exam of state or central for example either you are going through mtech or mset exam i mean state level set exam or through central level exam and next comes uh, family income should be less than 2.5 lakhs regarding this particular scholarship i already made a video last year you can check out this that video and now comes to these are kind of uh, engineering and technology scores so minimum eligibility rank are this 75000 in mains should be less than this and for students in iits uh, additional thing will be there so based on their state so these are the ranks eligible rank if you are from that particular state for example if you are in telangana and you join a mset college with under rank of 5000 you are going to eligible for this particular scholarship simon scholarship program so this is only for uh, triple e csit make production ec ut and instrumentation so 50% are reserved for girls at least 60% in 10th 50% in 12th boards 60% aggregate in pcm physics chemistry maths less than 2 lakhs family income should be there uh, in order to get this particular scholarship allowances for books stationery hostel additional classes etc so re- reimbursement of tuition fees so if you if in case student is availing any other scholarship the balance tuition fee would be reimbursed see this they are directly mentioned even if you get another scholarship you are going to provide you the scholarship for the remaining amount you are paying to the college so holistic development program with internships at simons and other multinational companies even if you if you are having a good grade uh, if you don't get internship opportunities or any other pro- placement opportunities they are going to provide you that also it's kind of uh, best thing which we can say try to apply this particular thing also next comes ongc merit scholarship 50% is again reserved for girls minimum 60% in 12th or equivalent so they are going to select 500 from general category and obc students and of, i mean 500 500 and 1000 from scst will be selected family income should be less than 2 lakhs for general and obc and less than 4.75 lakhs for scst so selected will get 48000 per annum and now comes to acc vidya sarathi scholarship so minimum 50% uh, in class 12 family income should be less than 5 lakhs and uh, scholarship amount is 30k and uh, this is contact email id uh, for related to queries vidya sarathi at nsdl.co.in and now comes to jsw udan scholarship so minimum 50% in class 12 family income should be less than 8 lakhs and uh, scholarship amount is 40000 and uh, it a uh, one more uh, scholarship for women again uh, women in science l'oreal uh, young women in science when women passed in class 12 with uh, 85% family income less than 4 lakhs age should not exceed 19 years droppers are not eligible 2.5 lakhs or f- for 4 po- years or 3 years based on the degree so they are going to issue 2.5 lakhs equally if you are studying for 3 years course 2.5 divided by 3 every year you are going to get that much amount if you are studying for 4 years 2.5 divided by 4 that have that much amount you are going to get every year so that is how it is all india engineering entrance scholarship exam aka a well known as ai trip aiwsc so this is kind of exam so minimum 50% in class 12 subject subjects should be there so this particular uh, final date for applying this scholarship is january 15th so you need to apply that you need to write the exam so you need to score well so then you are going to get this scholarship so that is how it is and apply for this exam score well and gain the benefits so tuition fee is covered for merit students through the exam so at least standard laptop is issued if you qualify in the exam so they are going to have some qualification marks so same like physics chemistry maths mental ability english proficiency these things will be there just go to google and search all this so all these links are i'm going to leave in the description you can check out all those links 
so these are some important scholarships which you can have a look on them so one more important scholarship which i missed uh, saying in this particular video is samsung scholarship so this is for all those students who passed out from jnv jawahar navodaya vidyalay so if you are if you passed out from jawahar navodaya vidyalay if you are a ex student of jawahar navodaya vidyalay so you can avail this particular opportunity by applying samsung scholarship just go to google and search samsung jnv scholarships that's it you are going to get all the info related to that a lot more other uh, scholarships are also there you can check out them on uh, buddy for study and vidya sarathi websites so these links are also i am going to uh, leave in the description check out those website for more and more scholarships a lot of scholarships are waiting for you just check the eligibility so then uh, i hope i have given you some important and useful information through this particular video if you find this as a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind